Hello everyone, welcome to Learn One Soul. In this episode, I am going to show you how to use our robot PC software. If you know how to use our PC software, you will know how to run our robot. Now, look at here. This is our PC software icon. Just double click this icon and open our software. This PC software can be divided into three parts. The first part, second part, and the third part. Now I am going to show you some details of them. Let's start from the left side. As we can see, robot possesses 16 servos. In this interface, we can see there are 16 blue icons. Each one of them represents for one servo. Following the position of the servo, we set the ID number for them in sequence, which correspond to the positions of these icons. Therefore, you will not get confused while you are programming. There is a slider in this blue icon. This slider represents for the position of the servo. You can get any position you like and the figure will be changed as the way as the slider moves, just like what you see. After connecting to the controller, the robot's eyes will turn green. If it turns green, that means you have successfully connected to the robot. And this area is designed for showing the digital of the robot's action. Action time means the running time of the action group. And this button is called Add Button. Each time when you change the position of the robot, after click the Add button, you will find the digital shown in this area. If you want to delete the action group, just choose it and click the Delete button. And this button is designed for modifying and updating the robot's action. This one is called Insert Action. After removing the action, you can directly click the insert button to the place where you want to insert. And this played button supports running online once. If you click the loop, the robot will keep on running until you click the stop button. And this one is designed for saving the action group that you have already programmed to the computer. And you can choose a certain number of the action group and after click the download button, it will be directly downloaded to the controller. This one is single erase. Single erase means that you can delete the action group that you choose. That is to say, all erase means deleting all the action groups which downloaded in the controller. Very easy to understand and operate, right? You can also try by yourself. So this is the end of today's program. If you still have any question, please feel free to contact us and join us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube pages. Thanks for your watching. See you there.